hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this problem in this problem it is said that if f1 equals to 30 pound so this f1 is equal to 30 pounds and f2 equals to 40 pounds it is said that determine the angle theta and angle phi so that the resultant force is directed along the positive x-axis and has a magnitude fr equals to 60 pounds right so it is said that the resultant of f1 and f2 is acting in the positive x direction that th this means that the resultant is horizontal it is making zero degree angle with the positive x-axis right so if we draw the free body diagram so let's say that this is f1 right we can aid both of these uh, vectors by using the head to tail rule right so then if this is f1 right this is 30 pounds we can write that this is 30 pounds and this is f1 similarly let's say that this is f2 right and its magnitude is 40 pounds right so then the the resultant of both of these is uh, acting in the positive x direction that is making zero degree angle with the horizontal right so this is the fr resultant which is equal to 60 pounds right and this is the angle theta right and if you want to complete the parallelogram if we apply the parallelogram's law so then what we can do is that we can copy this vector right and we can place it here right and similarly we can copy this vector as well this is f1 and we can place it on the head of the f2 right so both of these will give us this fr right so again i can write that this is f2 which is equal to 40 pounds and this is f1 which is equal to 30 pounds right and, and this is theta and this is angle phi right so we have to find this theta and angle phi right so as we can see if this angle is phi so then this angle is also phi right both of these angles are alternate angles so now we can find angle theta by using this triangle right the upper triangle so we can apply the cosine's law to the upper triangle so we can write that if we apply the cosine's law so then it will be f2 square equal to f1 square plus fr square right minus 2 f1 into fr cos of theta right so the included angle is theta right so that is why we we are writing this uh, cosine law in the form of f2 square equals to right so the angle is in front of f2 right so this is f2 square equals to f1 square plus fr squares minus 2 f1 into fr cos of theta right so f2 is 40 f1 is 30 and fr is 60 and this is minus 2 f1 is 30 into 60 and this is cos of theta right so from this we can write that minus 2 into 30 into 60 cos of theta equals to 40 square minus 30 square minus 60 square and similarly we can divide this whole by this product right so this will be minus 2 into 30 into 60 so then this will be cos of theta so from this cos of theta equals to 0 0.81 and similarly if we take cos inverse so theta will be equal to cos inverse 0 0.81 so from this theta equals to 36.3 degrees right now we need to determine this phi angle so again we can apply the cosine's law but, but this time the angle is in front of f1 right so the angle is in in front of f1 so what we will do is that we will write f1 square equals to f2 square plus fr square minus 2 f2 into fr cos of phi so f1 is again 30 
and this is f2 f2 is 40 square fr is 60 minus 2 into 40 into 60 cos of phi so again we can write cos of phi equals to 30 square minus 40 square minus 60 square divided by minus 2 into 40 into 60. So cos of phi equals to this is 0 0.90 approximately right so we can write that phi equals to cos inverse 0 0.90 and from this phi is 26.4 degrees right so this is that theta and this is that phi if uh, if if f1 is making angle 36.3 degrees with the horizontal and f2 is making angle phi with the positive x axis is that is uh, 26.4 degrees so then the resultant will be acting in the positive x direction right so this is the solution of this particular problem